Hey guys, I'm back. So, this is something I used to detect alpha particles, and this is inspired by Clagwell. Um, so basically, as you can see, is when this uh, source of alpha particles comes closer to this um, spark gap, is basically what it is, with a high voltage from a flyback transformer applied across it, is uh, the sparks start coming very rapidly. They start being spark, 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 instead of, as you can see, when the uh, source is not there, there is very few sparks. So it's, it's hard to get the source lined up correctly, uh, so the alpha particles are actually emitted through the area where it's sensitive. But you can see I have it lined up right there, and there's a lot of sparks. And then now when, there, what is, when the alpha particle source isn't there, there is very few sparks. This works because the alpha particles actually ionize the air, and the ions let um, electrons flow more easily. And this is uh, done using a flyback transformer to create the high voltage. Um, and I just have two little screwdrivers there for the spark gap. Um, and it's just a common 2N3055 flyback driver. And this uh, alpha particle source is from a smoke detector. It is Americum 241. Um, it is difficult, as you can see, it's from a smoke detector. It's difficult to get to line up properly. Um, but here you can see that when I put it, uh, the sparks are coming more uh, rapidly now. That's because the leads are very ever so slightly closer together. This experiment is very sensitive to the how close they are together. But um, as you can see, um, when the alpha particle source gets closer, this uh, there starts to be a lot of sparks. And uh, right now it's actually arcing to the metal in the alpha particle source. But you can see when the source isn't there, there's very few sparks. And when I stick the source next to it, there starts to be a lot of sparks. And it's because the particles ionize the air and make it so that um, the electrons can go through the air more easily, so you'll see a spark fly across the gap. Thanks for watching.